If you're thinking about moving to Chicago, you're probably wondering which neighborhood to check out or which of the 77 of Chicago's community areas you should check out, that is. There are a lot to choose from, but in this video I will highlight five of the best neighborhoods to consider moving to in Chicago. My name is Kasper Yastrzemski. I am a realtor and real estate attorney that has been working in this industry in some capacity since my teenage years when I was helping my father in his capacity as a real estate broker himself flip condos, haul old appliances out of those condos, and otherwise prepare them for investment by painting or otherwise here as we made our way in this country as first generation immigrants. I've lived here in the Chicagoland area for almost my entire life now. I grew up in the suburbs and I've been studying and working and now living in the city itself for most of my time in recent history. If you are new to this channel, I encourage you to subscribe and give this video a like so you can see the rest of my videos, including my neighborhood open house videos, which is a series that I cover all of Chicago's community areas and suburbs in greater detail, showing what there is to see and enjoy in each of them, as well as provide a featured property to review of what is generally available and typical of that area. But generally, I've been helping people just like you and their friends and family make smart moves as far as moving to Chicago, moving within the Chicagoland area by supporting their search and marketing efforts in the real estate industry here. So either I help them find or sell their home in my capacity as a broker or help them close on a transaction in my capacity as an attorney and then ultimately help them secure that asset through some estate planning in my capacity as an estate planning attorney. So check out the description and you'll be able to contact me at any point by text, phone call, email, or by a link that you can schedule a Zoom call with me so we can talk about your next home search, listing, closing, estate planning endeavor, uh, so we can secure your most valuable asset that is your home typically as soon as you've required it. So our first neighborhood is going to be and this is in no particular order, but the first one I want to cover is the Gold Coast Historic District. The Gold Coast is located in Chicago's near north side community area. It is home to some of Chicago's most affluent residents. It has great access to the Magnificent Mile, which provides you great access to shopping, including the flagship Burberry store, the largest Ralph Lauren store in the world, as well as luxury boutiques for Gucci, Tom Ford, Prada, Jimmy Choo, uh, Mont Blanc, Rolex and others. This area also has great access to many luxury department stores and the flagship Macy's store on State Street here. Likewise, that area has great access to Lakeshore generally. Many of the condos in this area have a great view of this great lake, Lake Michigan, and the Chicago strip of beaches stretching north from the center of town. Gold Coast is also near to the Seven Wolf Theater, which is a great venue offering awesome performances and modern takes on theatrical classics with semi-frequent appearances by major movie actors playing in the productions, which is pretty cool. Gold Coast is also proximate to Millennium Park, the Institute of Art, and other downtown Chicago amenities, making it a great location for residents who want to enjoy this city to its fullest. Furthermore, uh, it has easy access to Union Station downtown, which provides residents with an easy way to travel to the rest of the state or to the rest of the city via CTA or bus line. Finally, Second City Theater is right here or right next to this neighborhood and has produced some of the biggest stars in comedy, including John Candy, Dan Aykroyd, Steve Carell, Jordan Peele, Tina Fey, Stephen Colbert, Chris Farley, Bill Murray, Vince Vaughn, and that's just to name a few. Um, second neighborhood I want to go over here and uh, have you guys consider uh, is the near west side community area. This is community area 28 of 77 here in Chicago and it's home to several prominent neighborhoods um, including the Fulton River uh, District and Market which is home to some of the best Chicago restaurants in my opinion as well as Little Italy which is a great place to live and visit, especially if it's your first time coming to Chicago and you want to get to know the rich Italian culture here that has made up what it means to be a Chicagoan in at least one sense. Make sure to check out my neighborhood open house video on this area where I focus on Little Italy and Chicago's famous Taylor Street in this area and all it has to offer. The near west side is also home to Illinois Medical District and University of Illinois Chicago campus. This area, that makes this area popular for 
a lot of young and veteran professionals in the medical industry. So if you are wrapping up your residency, let's say, and suddenly are in need of your own housing in the area, make sure to reach out to me via the contact information in the description um, and the links in the description so we can make sure that your transition into your fully fledged uh, practice is done without a snag. Another cool thing about this neighborhood, the near west side, is that it is home to the Blommer Chocolate Factory. And as a result, um, this area of Chicago often smells like chocolate, thanks to that chocolate factory. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Finally, this neighborhood is close enough to the Loop area and previously uh, mentioned Gold Coast area, the first neighborhood that I covered, um, that you have access to all those downtown amenities um, without having to play uh, or pay that high downtown price tag for your home. So just a little advantage of living there. The third neighborhood that I would like to cover here is Highland Park. And this is really a shout out to, to all my north side suburbs starting from Evanston, uh, Wilmette, Glencoe, and Highland Park. I'd like to highlight, I, I like to highlight Highland Park in particular because it's home to the famous Ferris Bueller's Day Off Mansion where the Ferrari was parked. Give you a sense of uh, what kind of area I'm talking about here. But um, this suburb of Chicago and Chicago itself, I, th I think speaks to the cultural relevance of this area um, that the United States um, had in the, in the 80s and 90s in particular. I think this area solidified itself as the picturesque example of what uh, American suburban living is really all about. I think all those 80s and 90s movies that were featured in Chicago uh, and the Chicago suburbs and Chicago itself, um, that includes Ferris Bueller's Day Off, um, The Breakfast Club, as, uh, The Fugitive, as well as some other movies. Um, I think, uh, you know, some of the, the National Lampoon, the Chevy Chase movies where he's working downtown, those are downtown Chicago. And I think that, um, you know, this area speaks to what American suburban living is all about. Furthermore, this entire area is lined with some of the most beautiful homes I've ever seen. All those north suburbs, uh, it has great access to parks, beaches along the coast of Michigan, uh, all those beaches uh, going north, even past Chicago into these suburbs. It's a great area um, for anyone looking to move into an affluent suburb of Chicago that is close enough to make a commute to Chicago or any of the nearby suburbs by, by a car or a train as is convenient. Fourth neighborhood. Another suburb I wanna highlight is Park Ridge, the great Northwest suburb of Chicago. It is also a popular suburb for many Chicago workers, such as police and fire department. This is because there's a local rule here that requires that anyone working for the city of Chicago live within the city's limits. So Park Ridge is, is right on the border of Chicago and the suburbs, which gives uh, opportunity for city workers that need to otherwise live within the city to work for the city, such as those police officers and fire firemen to enjoy uh, suburban life for themselves and their families while being able to keep their Chicago jobs. Park Ridge also has a lot to offer um, and I do, do a deep dive of this area in my neighborhood open house video covering Park Ridge. Uh, you can see that if you if you click right here, you can check out that video for yourself. Um, but in general, Park Ridge has a great balance of suburban and urban living. Uh, it has a lively uptown area that offers residents many options for entertainment, dining, and otherwise, which I go through in that video. And furthermore, the Metro stop located in this town provides easy access for work or leisure. Number five, our final fifth neighborhood is Lincoln Park. This is home to Chicago's largest uh, park in the Chicago Park District. It has Lincoln Park Zoo, the Lincoln Park Conservatory, uh, the Peggy Notre Bart um, Nature Museum, um, a very cool nature museum, by the way, and many other um, parks in that area that provide residents with the access to sports fields, walking paths, running paths, places to walk your dog. It's a historical and hip community area in Chicago, really cool area. It is home to several notable neighborhoods, including the Old Town Triangle, which has a bunch of historical um, buildings and points of interest. Area is also chock full of hip restaurants, new restaurants, bars, entertainment venues. It has a great selection of condos to choose from. So that is whether you're looking to purchase or rent something. Alternatively, this area does have several townhomes regularly available, uh, multifamily, two, three flats. Um, can be had here if somebody's looking for a property that they're looking to live in and rent at the same time. This is a good area, it's always popular. I think, um, you know, the prices are expensive, but they're only gonna get more expensive in the future. 
um, it's a good area to invest in. Also, the area has great access to the rest of the city by CTA line. There's a central hub for um, the Chicago red, brown, and purple lines here at the Fullerton station. Likewise, you have easy access by a car to the rest of the city, uh, thanks to the easy access to Lakeshore Drive that you have here. It will be a 10 minute drive to downtown from this area, 20 minutes by a train if you take, uh, choose to take, take the train instead, but basically very conveniently located. So there are many other neighborhoods in the city to cover. These are just a few of my favorite. And if you think I missed uh, one that, that should have been on this list, you think I, I got it all wrong, please let me know in the comments. Um, always always like to hear the feedback frankly it, it the algorithm loves it you know but let me know because it gives me ideas for other videos so i want to hear from you guys really likewise um if you enjoyed this video and want to see more information about any of these other areas please make sure to, to, subs to subscribe to the channel and catch my neighborhood open house videos uh, if you're looking to buy sell rent real estate in chicago please make sure to reach out to your trusted real estate professional if you don't have one, I'd love to be that person for you. I'm always happy to help you guys. Just reach out, you know, call, text, email me using the info in the description, use the link, schedule a Zoom call. Because I've been doing this forever. I am a licensed real estate agent broker sponsored by eXp. I am a real estate attorney, property attorney, estate planning attorney, in my own right in practice. And again, I've been working in this industry since I was a teenager, helping my father with his broker's practice when I was younger. So thanks again for watching to all my subscribers for all your support. I know that we started not too long ago, but I'm getting a lot of positive feedback from you guys. And please reflect that in the comment section. Love to see that positive feedback um, for everyone else to see. So they know that there's worthwhile information on this channel. And so I can keep growing and sharing this good information with everybody. Um, so I hope this helped. Hope you got some good solid content to help you learn about uh, living and moving to Chicagoland. And until next time, take care. We'll talk to you then.